everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals. And as promised, I wanted to show you guys how to make your own shimmer spray. You guys know how I love to add sparkle and glitter elements to my junk journals, whether it be on paper or on the fabrics. And so I found this post on Pinterest and I will put a link to the post that inspired me in the description box but I gotta share this with you guys. This is so cool. Let me show you what I've made so far. I've made this gorgeous gold and this pearlescent white, and then also a uh, like a rose pink color. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, yay. So what I've done is for this particular gold, I used some eyeshadow from my stash. Now this is a loose eyeshadow and it's from Jessie's Girl and I've had this forever. They still make it. And what you want to be sure you use is a, an eyeshadow that has mica powder in it. Now you could also use mica powder from like the craft store. I went to Michael's the other day and the only mica powder they had was in a set of like 24. And I didn't want that many. I wanted something more affordable. So I also went to the dollar store and I got these gorgeous colors. They're from LA Colors. They're shimmering loose eyeshadow. And let me show you the packet that it comes in. It comes in this little uh, package here. And the first ingredient is mica. So to make your own shimmer spray, you're going to need either mica powder or one of these loose eyeshadows that has mica as an ingredient. I did try um, another eyeshadow that I had in my stash, and this is from Wet n Wild, and it doesn't have mica in it. It has like really fine, it looks like uh, glitter, and it did not work. It was a globby mess. So that's the key ingredient here. So we're gonna make one today. So besides your mica powder or your loose eyeshadow here, you're going to need some rubbing alcohol. Now I've used the 50% by volume. I also have 91%. <clears throat> I don't think it makes a difference. I've, uh, for all of these others, I did use the 50%. Uh, rubbing alcohol, and then a clear glue or something that dries clear and dissolves in water. So for these, I used Elmer's clear glue, and I've had this in my stash forever. You could also use Mod Podge, but you want something that dissolves in water and dries clear. So let's just make this. It's so easy. So besides those ingredients, you need a two ounce spray bottle. I've got, got these from Walmart and this one was also from the dollar store. So we're just going to use that one today. And what you do is you fill up your little bottle about two thirds of the way to the top. So I am just gonna pour that in and I might need to use some of my other, yep. So let me get out my other one here. All right, so we're gonna go all about two thirds of the way to the top. There we go. And then from there, you're going to take your eyeshadow or your mica powder here. Now with these LA colors, they come with this little wand that has a brush on it. And so, um, and it also ha comes with a little, uh, opening at the bottom and that's where the eyeshadow comes out but I found the easiest way to get it out is just to kind of tap it on your table and shake it around. So you want to get about a half to one teaspoon of your powder and I've got to shake this out. That's the only way that I have found to get this out is to shake it around. And then what I did is I just put it on some cardstock and folded it in half so that I can pour that directly into the alcohol. So get that in there. Now it looks like I need a little bit more. So I just eyeball it, you can measure it, but I've done this enough that 
um, you know, I think that I know the amounts. Now, see, I don't even know if I can get any more out of this one. Okay, let's get that in there. And then from there, what you want to do, you move this out of the way, is add your glue. And for your glue, you're going to need a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And you can always add more of your, um, you know, loose eyeshadow if you uh, want a more intense color. So I'm going to eyeball this. Get about, um, you know, half to one teaspoon. And then I'm just going to swirl it around and see what happens, right? Oh, look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. I just think this is the coolest thing ever. So let's try an example. Let me get out a sheet of paper here. And this is just a piece of um, tea stain paper. And I am going to spray this on there. Now, at first, it does um, appear a little wet. And you have to get, um, you know, some of these spray bottles come out more with like a stream than a spritz. But it still works. And what you're going to find is it smells like alcohol until it dries. So I am going to stop the camera and dry this with my heat tool. And I'll be right back and I'll show you the results. All right. I am back. And here is the dried paper. Isn't that pretty? Can you see the subtle shimmer that it has on the page? I absolutely love it. It is just gorgeous and think of this you could even add some additional color to maybe one of the pearlescents maybe you could add some alcohol ink or food coloring i haven't tried that but i would definitely give that a go so there you have it make your own shimmer spray it just adds such a subtle bit of sparkle onto your pages and like i said i just love the results so i hope you guys enjoyed this and go out and make your own shimmer spray so have a wonderful day and i'll be back soon with my next video bye